Hey, this is Tepe from Thrice, and you're watching Loudwire. My dad played guitar, and so there was always a guitar in the house. He kind of showed me some chords, I don't know. But I think it was until, well, I'd say like fifth or sixth grade maybe, when I started getting into uh, Metallica and stuff like that, that I really kind of found my own interest in guitar. I think the era that I started listening to them might have been the Black Album era, but I think I, I dug pretty, I went back in the catalog pretty quickly. So I think what really hooked me was Kill 'Em All, Master of Puppets, Ride the Lightning, that kind of era. <laughs> I think because it's the easiest. I mean, I guess when you first learn it, you're just doing yeah, so. so, I mean, when we first started playing, you know, we were super young. I was like 18 years old, 17 probably. And so at that point, it was like, just play a bunch of notes as fast as you can, riff as hard as you can. Um, but I think as we've, you know, grown as musicians and our musical tastes have changed and we've gotten older, um, I think I approach the guitar pretty differently now. Um, I, th I think I go for more feel more than anything else. I don't know, I guess that kind of musical shift started happening probably with Radiohead. Yeah, I mean, it's, I mean, there's not much you can say about them that hasn't been said already, but really innovative, always inspiring. Um, I like their experimentation with sounds and effects and that kind of stuff, but also just really simple repetitive riffs that I think are really just groovy and has a good catch to it. And today we played an older song off of Artists in the Ambulance called Under a Killing Moon. And that's like, yeah, just riff central. <laughs> and it's like, I mean, it was, it's cool for what it is, I guess, but it's, you know, it's, it's like a totally different thing than I enjoy playing nowadays. So that one goes a little something like this. So, yeah, just riffy. This one's called Promises. It's, it's got a little more feel to it, I feel like. There's a band called No Knife that we all are really influenced by, and that comes up a lot. Um, and I feel like we've talked about them a lot, but we probably can't talk about them enough because I feel like they're one of the most underrated bands out there. Yeah, just really, really interesting like interplay between the two guitars and even the bass. 